Okay. Well, who knows how long or many times we're going to do this. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> trying to take a seat here, but uh, they're bolted down. And also you're not allowed to, you know, sit down. That's illegal. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm getting nice and comfy up here. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Got, got some. Short what's our what's uh what's your rep level? Six or five? Okay. All so. right. I've been very slowly making my way around. Yeah, it's the same in my game. And then I think I'm still on four or something. I don't know. Just uh, like out and about. Just got your three what are these legs. Jobs? No, I, I haven't unlocked that. No, I haven't unlocked this this side quests thingy, or not the side quests, but these this task list. Yeah, I just uh yeah, I just unlocked a thing where you go to cantinas and you get a bunch of little side quests things you can do. Don't click on the. I don't think you can click on anything, but uh, there's yeah, one that wants my like centurion. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I accepted that. <laughs> yeah, huh, that's gonna be a while, maybe. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe this will be fine. We're gonna. Yeah, I, I found a war zone contract, so we're gonna do that. You should fix your shit. Fine. You need to fix everything. What's going on? This 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 thing here, PNT doesn't have an arm. It looks like the arm's gone. What? Yeah, that's... Holy crap! That's fine. You haven't been fixing any of your stuff! Uh, so this may surprise you, but... Oh, I can queue. Each time you go out on a mission, you get you can get damaged, and then you have to come back and you have to repair yourself again. Yeah, you have to fix everything, and if stuff gets destroyed, it doesn't auto... You can't... You don't... It doesn't automatically replace that stuff if you click repair on the general screen. You have to go in and make sure you remove it. It will not refit it with comparable weapons. Oh, that's Which if something is destroyed. If you forget to, yeah, and if you forget to do that, well, you gotta refit it, and that takes even more time. Anyway, I'm going to give you deploy. Leon because he's the strong boy. Oh, the you, you, ah, yeah, the first guy, first guy that joins you. Okay, so next question: what what mech do you want? I've got not the javelin. You can take the centurion if you want. Um. No, I mean, that's, that's fine. You're using the Centurion. Oh, you're not using the Centurion? No, it's too slow for my taste right now. You know, I'll take I... it then. I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know if you can click on it or if I had to do this, but there you go. Um, I could probably... Yeah, yeah I can sw swap it myself. Okay. That's the little... Good. Yeah, okay. It's got a little uh, weight limit, weight a ton thing on it. What does that icon mean? I don't know. That means it's technically under tonnage. So I'm not using, I'm oh. not, it's not optimized, but you that's why like, its armor out? I, I have maxed its armor and the thing I did was oh. take off its missiles and what? gave it more AC ammo and max armor on everything. That's how I play. Why'd you take the missiles out? Because you're not even using it. Because I kind of hate it. God. Look, it's your God, all right, well, you can you can do right, whatever fine, you want I with guess it. I'm, guess I'm going into this mission without long-range missiles. That's great. You no, it's fine. The auto modify. cannon and the lasers are fine. You can modify it as much as you want. If I queue up a work order, will that not tie up the mech for this? You can just wait. We can wait. We have okay. we have 17 million in the bank. A few days is not going oh, wow. to hurt. Uh, yeah. So this okay. this game drowns you in sea bills. I've a lot of things seemed expensive at first, but yeah, no, you get a lot of stuff. You get a lot of money. Yeah, um, money is not an issue in in this Mech Warrior Damage. entry. Um, speaking of Mech Warrior entries, uh, you you remember how I told you ah I rented a Genesis game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, turns out in the um. It has a SNES version. That one is called Mech Warrior 3050. Oh, is that the one? Anyone who is familiar with Mech Warrior backstory will know what 3050 means. 
Yeah, why it's important. <laughs> um, no, I'm not. I'm not familiar. I am not actually familiar with that at all. Well, uh, is mm -hmm. is that the first year that Battle Mix became a thing? No. So, oh. Okay, so backstory. Um, I played a little bit of four, and I mean a little bit. I remember stepping on tanks. That was fun. You so uh, it was tanks. a succession thing. You're fighting Schneider, uh, Steiner, something. <laughs> Steiner they, was they... Davion, yes. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, you yeah, blow up a shuttle at the end. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, this. Is... It had a couple endings. There was Steiner ending, Davion ending, and oh. an independent ending. Oh, I didn't know that. Neat. Yeah. Independent, um, uh, you make s such huge buckaroos that you get your own planet. It cool. Nice. It was cool. <laughs> That's, I guess, the pinnacle for a, a Merc company to get their own planet. You know, in my mind. Um, I do think you have to ready up for us to launch. Hang on a second. If you're still fiddling back there. Um, so, backstory... Uh, you saw... Oh, that's why I didn't show the intro movie. That's something I, I thought about doing. Oh, well. Uh, mm. Intro movie is just the Mech Warrior. I mean, Battletech backstory. In the beginning, there was Earth. We found FTL. Started expanding. And then some asshole said, Hey, what if I was in charge of everything? And that's, I believe, is what became the Star League. And Star League was typical feudal bullshit and they had a bunch of houses under them and Soul League would not give the houses the best shit they gave them like crappy mechs and wouldn't let them use jump ships I believe which is how FTL works I um, forgot to put ammo <laughs> missile ammo down so please please, please okay. do the thing wait again there we go <laughs> alright uh, let's see deploy there so um Eventually, rebellion happened, as it tends to do, and the king of Soli, or whatever, was assassinated. And then oh, the person the who did, uh, I think he just shot him, oh. like, in a command center or something. I think it's actually shown in, like, hairbrain schemes, battle tech. Oh yeah, the, the turn-based one. Yeah, that was pretty good. Hey, stop jumping. Get down here. Uh, oh, so great. It's 3017. That's right. It's, it's, it's not even 3050 yet. Yep. Um, so, he assassinated the guy and then looked around and said, Well, this is going to be a huge ass succession war. And, well, oh. I don't feel like doing with that. So he took the majority <laughs> of the Soul League's defense forces and just fucked off. Oh! Yep. Um, and the forces that stayed I, behind that oh. became... I think he first named them the Calm Guard, but they became Calm Star, which is Space okay. Fanatical AT&T. <laughs> what? I, that's what fans call it, and they're not wrong. Um, Cell phone? I, so, Comstar controls all communications, all FTL, and it has its own Star League Air Defense Force. You don't fuck with Star, uh, Comstar. <laughs> I see. It does, I guess they got whatever it's back here. Let's have a look at the map here. Um, oh, 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 whoop, up north. Yeah. I'm trying to get this back here. Shitty little tank. Whoops. <laughs> that hole was already there. Well, and that wall, that was already there. This isn't a defense mission, so you can whoops as much as you want. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Who's this? Is this just a friend, or is this one of our guys? Uh, Blue, if it's yellow, it is he seems to, Okay, he seems to be painted in the French colors. Red, white, and blue. The stripes, vertical stripes. That's interesting. Uh, 
Yeah, everyone has their own like little paint scheme. You can paint all mechs Neat. in the hangar. Oh, cool. Um, so yeah, uh, dude fucked off, took guys, and Comstar was created. And then, uh, so you know, the people who fucked off didn't like die or anything. Uh, they found a cluster a few thousand light years galactic north of the inner sphere, which is where we are. Okay. And uh, the guy who did the assassinating said, kind of looked around and said, well, okay, so all the individual individual uh, commands that came with me, uh, yeah, we're just going to put you like in control of your like little separate clans. Oh no, clan wars. So that's how the clans were formed. Um, and eventually they wound up invading the Inner Sphere to try and retake it for the, you know, because they are the Star League, you know. And that invasion... Just trust! Yeah. Let him go! Locus. <laughs> Welcome to Locus. He's not faster than the laser, though. These guys, <laughs> a lot of fans call them lawnmowers. Oops! Because that's how dangerous shot they are. Is that you I just shot in the back? It is. My bad. Oh, yeah, my, my back is not good. It's fine. <laughs> you didn't, uh -oh. oh, no. Ooh. So, yeah, when you see that blue flash, uh, that means the mech's going critical. Oh. The reactor, the fusion reactor, is about to explode, and it will hurt. I haven't actually haven't had that happen in my game yet. That's interesting. Is there a specific I, spot in the mech that has the, the if reactor? Usually, the mech, the which is destroying its center torso. You know, that's where the reactor is. It not, won't always happen, uh, but there's a chance for it to happen. Keeps you on your toes. You know. Sounds like. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just amused by the. I'm not experiencing any bad lag or anything, but the mo that that They're particular helicopter's uh, model was being a little weird. Mm -hmm. It was basically strafing. Yeah, Upside that's... Upside down. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that's, like, how the game deals with lag. Because I watched someone else do a co-op playthrough. So I wouldn't be completely blind <laughs> doing this. Is ours. Um, I guess on the topic of shooting mechs, uh, so... After each battle, you know, you get salvage. You know, pick up yeah. from the battlefield. Uh, so depending on how you destroy a mech, you will influence whether or not you get a salvage. Uh, just mm. blowing up the torso, uh, you probably, you might get it. I think the Jeff values in this is like 70% or something for killing the torso. Uh, legging the mech, which is, well, destroying both its legs. I think that's like 90-ish. And that makes sense, because you just immobilized it. Yeah, and if you kill the head, which, you know, unlike Gundam, that's where the pilot is, is 100%. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's nothing important in the head, you know. <laughs> it's just the, the pilot and the cockpit. All the controls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing important there. Well, you, nothing, irrepla nothing irreplaceable. Nothing to write home about. Whoops. I guess we'll kill this guy. But yes, uh, I'm not sure if I finished my thought, but uh, the clan, the year the clans invade the Innisphere? Want, want to take a guess? I've already said it. 3049. 3050, that's right. So this SNES game, was that a... It was, was that an action game? I I believe it was a well, port of, Yeah, it, I believe it and the Genesis game were basically the same. So yeah, that game took place during the clan invasion, which I believe Mech Warrior 2 also took place during... 2 or 3? Oh, my arm. It's not destroyed yet, but... It's red. This yeah. is your fault, LRM carrier. Probably. So yeah, vehicles are dangerous. Like LRM carriers, if they get the full salvo on you, uh, yeah, they, they'll probably kind of kill you. Okay, let's, let's 
Oh, I gotta cool off. I gotta cool it with some water. Oh, fine. I did find out stepping in water does pull you faster. Yep, because the cool the the uh, heat sinks are positioned all over the mech. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. Yep, that was a, a, a mission, all right. Uh, we pissed off the independents. It's fine. We're mercs. We're supposed <laughs> to piss everyone off, except the guy who's paying us. Right. Yep, the, yeah, AI didn't kill itself, so I think that was a success. They, they didn't take much damage you compared to us, lot. compared to me. Yeah, you took the most damage. That's fine, you're in the medium mech. They're, I got the most diversion. <laughs> exactly. I think I'm kind of seeing some of the complaints about this game, is all of these missions just feel very... Samey. They're all procedurally generated. Oh, mamma mia. Yeah, I see. Um, it's not a structured single-player experience. It's a sandbox. Except for the campaign missions. Which, um, hey, you know how they had you like blow up a generator in one, in one of the tutorial missions and had a jammer in yeah, that sure. other mission? Uh, yeah, that was not oh, yeah. true again. All right, my mech's ready to be fixed. Um, contract right here. Could do a defense, a, f a defense contract, or we could do a raid contract. Raiding party. I'm leaning towards raid, although the Centurion might not be the best mech for that. I'll just walk into the buildings. Well, I I go a hundred. 12 something kilometers. Yeah, 113. <laughs> I might get there before you at your 64. <laughs> also, <laughs> good. I'm, I'm glad you know the proper way to do a raid mission. Cool. Just walk man. into the, yeah, walk, walk into the buildings. <laughs> you do the most damage that way. Unless they blow up, in which case, just shoot I've, them. <laughs> I actually did find that out the hard way in like the second mission or first mission that had you raid in a javelin yep yeah the wrong wolf oops whoops ready oh it, something to note about the dropship the leopard I learned that most smirk companies will not use this because it can't hold extra cargo and you know, a way to make money between contracts. Trading? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is very well, we, unusual. Good, good, good thing we ain't playing Elite, we're playing Mech Warrior. What most smirk companies will use is called the Union Dropship, which is a giant sphere and it's covered in like yeah. PPCs oh, yeah. and Goss rifles. You might recall it from four, where they are utter yeah, bastards. Yeah, I remember those. Okay. Yeah, take that. Was that you? No, it might have been my, my missiles. It's fine. It's supposed to. It's supposed to blow me up. gonna knock out their satellite signal. Their picture's gonna be so fuzzy. Yeah, it's gonna be so inconvenient for them. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's an Irby. Weaving. Oh, it's an urban mech. Yeah, you know, you know about Irby's? They're, they're very weak, or something. They're extremely right? slow. They're, they move at like 32 kilometers an hour, but uh... That's pretty slow. First off, their torso can twist 360 degrees. Oh! And while they tend to mount a small uh, weapon on one arm, they usually mount a heavy weapon on the other. And they're like... <laughs> oh, okay. And they're mounted high on the torso. 
So again, like, they excel at, well, urban combat. I'm learning wow. so much. Eating shit goods. Procedural generation, put this face on a hill. A very awkward hill. Yep, broke his legs. Alright, we're gonna get ourselves a new urban mech. Yeah, that's oh, wait, this isn't the place we're supposed to blow up? What am I walking into then? Forget it. Is that good? Is that one of our guys who said that? Nope. Oh right, he, he had the distortion in his voice. That's how you know, because we're intercepting the com communication. Yeah, you took off one of my arms. It's fine. I didn't need that arm. I'm... Yeah, ting you down. Okay, I'm here. What did I miss? The base. It's gone now. Ah, J. Edgar tank. <laughs> oh, VTOLs. Yep, he's having a little trouble flying there. Woo, 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 woo. Uh, stepping on vehicles does do a tiny amount of explosion damage to you, but it's like one point, I think. I see. Maybe I shouldn't watch back. Yeah. Gonna take the scenic route. Oh, I found some treasure. Ah. Got it. What did you lose this time? What? Oh, I got the communication that enemy mech has lost a critical component. I didn't get anything. <laughs> Whoop, but something just tore off the rest of my armor. This is a very large raid mission. Ah, one down. You can probably take that base like right above you. All right. Maybe I can snipe this one. Answer this if you Scratch that target and we're Transport touching down. Oh. oh boy. Are you getting friends over there? Uh hmm. I don't know. I don't actually see them. Uh, you can press B to open up your yeah. map. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see them either. Uh, when she says that, she means it's like, ah, oh, that's a cantina mission. No, oh, I'm too fat. I can't fit through here. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, I'm heading to the drop the pickup. Great. Ow. Alright, who's this jerk? Who are these jerks? Uh oh. It's okay. We're gonna hoover you. Nope! Up. Base! Base! <laughs> All right. Well, so, yeah, it's a little, little rough, but I think, I think we pulled through just fine. I uh, can take an herb. Yeah, I shot the legs out from one. Are you are you sure? Because both of them have the legs intact on this screen. How is that possible? <laughs> maybe it's one of them that you got. I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe. They didn't. Because even legging, I don't think it's a guarantee in this. Yeah, I took a little more damage that time. Most of that cost is from losing the lasers. Oh well. Yeah, high scores. Just slap another pair on. Nope. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Do you feel like doing this defense contract here? Yeah, why not? Sounds like a challenge. Oh, uh, okay. When does Mech Warrior 4 take place? I think after after the clan invasion. I think it's like 3060 something. Oh wow, this is really early in the in the timeline. Yep. This game. Wow. Okay, yeah, here we go. I watch, I'm watching. Sorry. Yeah, so running into other mechs is another way you can damage yourself. <laughs> Don't do that. Where's my beam saber? I want to slash some fools. There's no melee in this game, or any of the mech warriors. There's no games, melee in any mech warrior, which is interesting, because these mechs do have arms. Yep, and in fact there is one, I think, I think it's called, literally called the battle axe, and yes, it is armed exactly like you think it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's like two mechs that are explicitly designed for melee. Somewhere in the northeast. Just some tanks. Some of these mechs are pretty speedy. I think yep. they could get in and like get a punch or two. So that would be pretty dangerous. Yeah, uh, the hairbrain scheme one has uh, among melee attacks, uh, running up and kicking <laughs> the other mech, <laughs> or just you yes. know flat out ramming them with the entire body. Uh, shoulder checking them, and of course just fucking punching them square in the jaw. It's pretty good. Are you blocking off your missiles? Yeah, I just keep losing the dang thing. Ah, uh, yeah, that's why I don't like L in this. <laughs> Additional reinforcements. It's, they, they realized one tank wasn't quite enough to do this two job, huh? Two tanks. Is that one round in oh, northwest? Oh, there were the two. All right, south, southeast. Some VTOLs. I didn't probably handle that. Maybe. VTOLs in this have one armor. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's all you need. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's over your head. All three of them. Their on your position, Be 
Aha. I'm just gonna walk around the perimeter, not gonna step on the baby. <laughs> yeah, don't don't step on the base, you will damage it. That's oh goodness. Yeah, they sometimes the enemy just spawns on the other side of the place than you. Yep. Um, there is a mod called Bitter Spawns, but I don't. I'm not certain it's. I'm not. I'm not 100% sold on it. Because I've had. I still had like drop shits appear in the middle of the base I'm defending. I didn't even see a dropship, they just spawned. Nope. They just, they just, sh you just pop in. Um, that's one of the things the mod that's... does, is make all the mechs appear oh. on leopard dropships. Which isn't always good, because those dropships can shoot you. <laughs> I see. <laughs> that kind of yeah, sucks. That, that sounds like a problem. Oh, sp spooter. Oops, I missed. That's missing your AC shot is a bit of a problem when the enemy's between, you know, between uh -huh. you and the base. Ugh, and now they're in the base. Ugh. Oh, there's a Vaughn mower in here. It's coming out to say hi. Is that bad? Careful, careful. Don't trip on everything. Don't trip on anything. Damn it! Stop walking it's, into the base. Fine. There's... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh no, Oops. I heard that. <laughs> we. Excuse me. Come on. Who put that there? Oh, the Loke is still alive. What if it's Vaughn Mower? Oh, whoops. Here? Um, so, Ivo asks, which do you prefer, first or third person? I've been playing first person. Yeah. That's what feel I prefer in this. Feel all those machine gun rounds go directly into your skull. <laughs> what? When? Oh, they just have random quips about when the base is taking damage. Go, oh, you'll live, maybe. There's a, there's a tank over here. It's hiding, but I saw it. Can't hide from me. At least the secondary is reasonable. Keep it above 40 and 20. That's that's good. Up too far. I don't think you can take fall damage in this. Yeah. I I jump jetted with the javelin and it, it damaged my legs a little bit because I jumped off a cliff. Okay. Or just feather the jump jet. It, it can't hurt. Happens. Yeah. Because I just fell off a cliff and I tried to do the jump jets and I was fine. Got more mechs. And VTOLs. Uh, got okay, that's the VTOLs done. I, I'm not sure if you can con control the AI. Do you have that? No. Oh. No. It, the, the UI is up there and it says F1 order all, but F1 doesn't do anything for me. I do oh. know you can order them individually, too, so uh, I'm not able to do that. I ain't the commander. That's you. It's your, it's your outfit. I wanted each of us to have an AI buddy. Whoops. Oh. Is, that, is that important? That was like the No! Things. Maybe! Hey, you, stop shooting that. Yeah, look at me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. You shit at your jet. Hey, don't rip bump into me. You piece of shit. Hey, hey, Jenner, look at me. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> 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 oh, well, this is awkward. It's <laughs> fine. Oh, um... Hey, F watch it! <laughs> F will... Boon! <laughs> F will, um... Center your legs towards your torso. Yes. And, and C will center your torso to your legs. Yes. Uh, the F1 I've been using a lot. 
Yep. Uh, C, not as much, but yeah, it's very handy. Very much so. Now there's another, <laughs> there's another AI stuck in this canyon. <laughs> as per the tabletop rules. Uh huh. That's yeah. That's that's another. Yep. Definitely. Come on. You're holding up. You're holding up. Okay. He's over there. He went through the entire canyon. <laughs> he's trying to do a sneak attack. Hmm. Uh, so I did actually have, I remembered, I had Mech Warrior 2 as a kid, but okay. I could never get it to run on my computer back then. I remember distinctly I got as far as making a pilot, and then the game just would not proceed past the the, the next screen. And I was very uh -huh. frustrated by that. But to I be fair, <laughs> I would probably have not been able to proceed anywhere in it because <laughs> I'm not very good at these types of games I've discovered. Have mm -hmm. I mentioned that yet? I see. Yet, yet? I'm not. <laughs> this is not no. a pro playthrough. <laughs> I've played MechWarrior 4 several times, but only in like super heavy assault mechs with max armor. <laughs> and I'd usually come back full holes. Everyone loves the Atlas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Atlas, Black Knight, Hunchback. Annihilators. So, do you know what the uh, the typical flagship mech is? The one you see on the box. It's... Is that the blackjack? I uh, few of them might be, but usually not. No. Hmm. What's it called? I do know what you're talking about. But what, what is that one called? They're called Mad Cats, but that's not their correct. Yeah, name. that's it. Mad Cats. Yeah, but that's not their correct name. You know why they're called Mad Cats? Because of a tie-in promotion with the Mad Cats controller so when the clans are invading in 3050... It. Don't cut me off! The Innisphere computers, uh, when they encountered a Mad Cat, started freaking out. Because they didn't have it in their database. And they started rapidly switching between a catapult and a marauder. The, the, oh. the designations are cat and mad. So, the uh -huh. pirates are calling them mad cats. They actually call it timber wolves, Neat. which is much more. Boring. Oh, the opposite, <laughs> the opposite of a cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, a catapult has those two like uh, speaker missile boxes on their. Up above their cockpit torso. Yeah. And the water has those little it. arm things. And a mad cat has uh, both. It's got both. I see. Because clan tech is better. <laughs> it's straight <laughs> up. You, pretty much universally. But it also tends to be hotter. Hmm. Heat. Mm -hmm. Dangerous. Heat is dangerous. Have you had a shutdown yet? Yes. Mm. Did you know Thankfully you can override the shutdown? Any... Mm, I've known that that is a feature in some of these games, but I didn't know it was a feature in this. Yeah, I believe it's just O. Um, Sounds like a very bad idea. You can, in fact, like a very dangerous override idea. it enough to, you know, you, you know how we see Blow some up. of those mechs just, yeah, just pop? Yeah, you could do Oof. that. And, you know, lose the entire mech. You could do that. And pilot, and yep, mission. And You'd pilot. have to start over because you're dead, idiot. <laughs> can you eject in this and fail the mission? <laughs> I didn't see that as an option. I think you can eject. I'll have to check in. Um... Hmm. Action. In arm lock. Uh, maybe not. I guess not. Nope, but you can, you can mech or heat override. Let's see. Toggle heat override. Oh. And you can also power down if you want to. Yeah, um, I mean, in like Mech Warrior 4 and the other ones, powering down did have a purpose because, while well, you're not generating heat, 
or much of like yeah. an EM signal, so you could use stealth. Yeah. Oh, would the AI just not know where you were? Yeah, really? They didn't they, cheat like that? They wouldn't be able to see you. And then you like power huh. up behind them, and they go, oh shit. And if they're like an assault <laughs> mech, they can't turn around very fast. Okay, so we, we cleared this place out. Nice. Made all the monies. Uh, there is a campaign mission over here. Oh, <gasps> campaign! Story! Plot! Something! I guess we'll see what that is. Oh, and there is a mod that removes this jump shift animation. Oh, that would be great, actually. It's on the workshop. I, I wasn't sure... <laughs> Like I said, how deep we wanted to go into mods, because, like I said, you know me, mods, yes please. <laughs> my my mod list, which I did not show, is like three dozen long <laughs> right now. Okay, so what is this? Hmm, <laughs> noble cause. Now we can, we can help some miners. Be, be or, or, uh, um, doesn't look like we have a counter offer. Oh, we do have some high reward quests way over here. Oh, those tend to be very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they'll keep. Oh, we have some up here. So. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, getting distracted. Uh, difficulty 17. <laughs> hmm. Mm, what are the, what's the difficulty we've been doing? Like 10? Like 12 and 11, I mm. think. Hmm. Well. We could, we can get 18 salvage stairs. And it has a tonnage limit of 200. <laughs> And I think we're like 140 right now. Mm -hmm. Keep forgetting to repair shit. Uh. It'd be okay. What does it want to do exactly? Doesn't say. Oh, we want to, they want us to hit two critical installations, so probably a raid. Okay. I'm sure this will be fine. I can't believe it's already been like 45 minutes. We've done a few missions. It's great. Oh yeah, rock on. Heavy metal. <laughs> I do like how if you look around in the cockpit, you can see your guy like pushing the buttons. Yeah, it's great. Checklist completed. SOB. I've marked on your map the two structures you need to destroy. Take them out along with any enemy forces in the area. Then meet me at the extraction point. Good luck. Target down. Target neutralized. Tip one down. Get one down. I like her. She has a good accent. I like that accent. It's adorable. Stop not getting killed, tank. Thank you. Oh, okay, this is just some stuff, so don't care about it. Tree is in the way of my sensors. 
Ablative yeah. trees is what I like to call them. <laughs> what do you they call them? Ablative trees. They're like ablative armor. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what they'll do to lasers and auto cannons. But not missiles. I think they'll just like fly right between them. No problem at all. Ow. Ow. You're not allowed. You're not allowed to be owled. Who's owling you? Oh, this tank is <laughs> I see you down there. <laughs> Just murdering those tanks. Doing what I love. In Mech Warrior 4, at least, some of the tanks, vehicles that is, were incredibly dangerous. Specifically, demolishers, which had like five SRMs and a PPC and like a pair of lasers or something. It was like basically think those super heavy Soviet tanks, only actually dangerous. Oh, I see. Yeah. Wow, one down. Uh, definitely never lost, you know, like had to restart because one of those things like pegged me from across the map or anything. <laughs> no. Uh, why would you? Let's get this one's done. Oh, got an actual mech over here. Shadowhawk. Yeah, those are relatively dangerous. Cuber! Cuber. That's a, that's a dinger right there, youch. Yeah, he's got an AC5 burst on him. Not as dangerous as an AC10, but still like, you know, like an Abrams main cannon. I see. Oh, don't look at me. <laughs> He's looking at you. You need to stop. Turned around. It's fine. I don't want to just leave this guy to the AI at this point. I'm sure it'll be fine. I trust the three of you. Yep. He's lost something. He's lost an arm. You left it. He's right. lost both arms. I took both his arms out. Ah! Stop it! Yeah, he still has his ACM. It's probably like in his torso or something. Oh, it blew up. Ah. Oh well. I don't think we're at the point where we could salvage mini mechs anyway. Hey, a bomb mower. <laughs> so, locusts are bad because I I'm not sure if it's this one or the flea, but one of them, one of them has an engine that takes up about 15 tons of the 30 ton rate <laughs> limit. I see. Oh, thank you. Just got an achievement for okay. killing that tank. Well done. Your gamer score has gone up. Remember Gamer Score? 
Maybe. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> and by pay, she means a lot of salvage. Okay. Yep. Yoink. One. a bunch of shit. Boone didn't take any damage. Good job, Boone. How did... How'd you she, you need to be more like Boone. She didn't do anything. <laughs> well, she actually killed. Yeah, no, she killed a few things. Damage dealt 95. <laughs> well, she did more damage than Huber. I think the thing is, they're mostly trying to keep up with me because I usually forget oh. to tell them to attack something. And I'm just like. And also, oh, you see. know, I'm darting around. <laughs> right. <laughs> 113 kilometers an hour. <laughs> yeah, we forced them to come to the table by blowing their shit up. That just seem, seems a little strange, but sure. That's mech I guess warrior. whatever works. That that is that is our tech. <laughs> there there are no good guys in this except maybe the Outworld Alliance. They're kind of good-ish. And that everyone is a flavor of asshole. I see a very black and gray morality, dark yeah. gray. Um, I believe Steiner is like one of the most overtly evil <laughs> houses. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> no, also where uh, the Steiner Scout Lance gets its name from. You want you want to know why, why they call it a, a Steiner Scout Lance? Or what it comprises of? Lance? S Scout Lance, huh? A lance is four mechs. That's it's a, a, yeah, it's a squad of mechs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are they suicide bombers? No. <laughs> a Steiner Scout Lance is three assault mechs and a light mech. <laughs> why is... <laughs> what? You heard me. What? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Cause Steiner. That's not gonna scout anything. Oh, <laughs> you'd be surprised. <laughs> anyway, Maybe we'll the light mech could scout something, but the, the salt mech's gonna take a while to catch up. Hey, fix my thing. I'm fixing. Don't worry. Oh, oh! I got, I got, I gotta go talk to my best friend Facade or Rihanna. Oh, oh by the yeah. way, uh, shift lets you run in when you're yep. walking Yep, it's around. a toggle. Yeah, it's a toggle. I, I think it's a toggle. It um... is. I don't know if you get these at all, or she's just going to stand there for you. Hello, Commander. I've just received a transmission from Spears. <laughs> I thought you should Awkward. hear it firsthand. Not saying a word, Commander. Hm? I've been trying to find out more information on Black Inferno as you requested. What I By the way, uh, Spears? Quite intriguing. You, you know who he's voiced by? Regional governments combined with my own Who's that? Sources. Who's Spears? Uh, our guy? Or no. Uh, oh, Spears. Oh, that guy. Those I'm watching on your stream now. Very closely uh, with areas of increased refugee displacement you like sound the sphere. Now, I believe the two are connected. Um, How they're connected or why, I don't know yet. So, but when uh, I do. I I I'll blanked on his actual name. I'm hoping we can use that compliment. That's over the guy who voiced Adam Jensen. Make them pay for what they did. Oh my God! Yeah. So. Oh wait, wrong one. And increasing our combat strength 
Adam Jensen's the safety fight, dancer. Uh huh. And when it finally comes. Um. Our newest contract. So he's actually a, a massive Battletech nerd. And he actually oh. asked Harebrained Skeens if he could be in their Battletech game, Battletech game, and they said okay. So he voices one of the, uh, uh bad guys in that. I'm just taking in how silly I look looking left and right on your stream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's only exacerbated the situation. Uh huh, uh huh, I agree. Uh huh. I agree with everything she's saying. Uh huh, uh huh. Different tap. They want us to send a message to House Leo by assassinating the local governor overseeing the detention of the refugees. Pretty sure that'll get their attention. The mission briefing has already been prepared, Commander. We leave on your orders. Copy that. Okay. Target of opportunity. Hmm. Well, I think I already accepted another mission, unless this is it. Okay. Eh. It's fine. The story is just an excuse to go blow shit up. It's very, it's very thin. Reactor online. Sensors online. You know what? That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Sometimes you don't. You just need a reason to go blow stuff up. All right, surgical strike. I'll do my best with half my left arm gone. I, I still got my uh, auto cannon, so it's fine. The left I, arm on this thing doesn't have a weapon, so it's fine. I I did repair. I'm going to go this way. Fine, you go that way. Cause it's the furthest one. Oh, salvage. Ready to start pickup operation. Cargo acquired. Paltry amount of money and an LM2. LM15 too. Mark 2. See a Vito over there. Yep, a bunch of guys just spawned in behind us. Oh, and. Uh, did you find, did another, you find another? Nice. <laughs> another one. They're on my arm. Hmm. I see you. You found a locust over there. Locust is getting spicy. Shoot it. Put that lawnmower down. Huber. Again. Target is 
place taken care of. I'm gonna make my way towards stupid LRMs. <laughs> oh, that's a Panther with a PPC. Huh? Oh, I found another. <laughs> wow. I've never seen this mini on a single mission before. Excellent find, Commander. Beginning recovery now. Oh, sorry. Huber, get, just go, just go home. Just go. What are you even doing? You're not even finding the mix. Oh wow, that, that didn't last, that guy didn't oh, last long. Or I just didn't see him until... Oh. Yeah, he's got an AC-10 first. That's why they're exploding. Great. Well, there goes the mech. Huber! Yep, and that mech is toast. It exploded. Did Huber just fucking die? No, he ejected. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, was, oh, yeah, he said that was close. Yeah. I actually had Leon die on the first mission I took him in. Uh. I was like, wait a second, what happened? How'd he die? He didn't even emote that he had died. He just went, well, I tried. It's like, oh, okay, he must have gotten lagged, and I'll just return to base. No, he's fucking dead! I had to reload. I've gotten headshot. Hello. Famous last words. Well, I tried. Oh, that was just a random shot. I wasn't actually expecting that to... Oh, that was me. Oh, that was Hi. you. Oh, that was you. Hi. Bye. <laughs> You just wait until I catch up to you. <laughs> Still waiting. I know they're, they're, there's friendly fire. I'm not going to do that. Anyway, what did Huber break? He Everything. broke a PNT 88Z. A Panther. Oh. And he probably injured himself. Yeah, that's what happens, from what I understand. Your large short burst. Hey, we can get a, we can get one back. So. <laughs> you can salvage. Yeah, the one I cored. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so take it easy, farmer. Yep. Injured 69 days. That's not very nice, nice Hubert. <laughs> not nice at all. Well, Alright, well, we need a replacement, Hubert. <laughs> I th I'm pretty sure I hired someone. Yeah, I've got a spare. Oh, yes, we... Oh, okay, we did manage to recover the exploded panther. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Oh, we found another one? Yeah, we, we've covered the exploded one, and we found the one I cored. <laughs> hmm. uh, let's, let's, let's work on the fire sword instead. I don't know. Seems... might, might be... has more weapons than the panther. Get these machines out here. <laughs> One of the locusts was just shooting me with machine guns, and it's just... <laughs> that tickles, you know? <laughs> machine guns can be dangerous in, like, tabletop, because each one rolls separately, and they oh. all have a chance to crit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see! Okay, well, that uh, that makes some sense. Yeah, it's... Maybe one of those bullets will just penetrate and ding yep. the reactor. One of them could be a headshot. just the right spot. Or, you know... Yeah? 
destroy hey, like pilot. heat sinks or weapons mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. ammo explosions. It's also a thing that can happen. We got two go. Sure, I have a lot of broken mechs. Shouldn't we fix some more of these? I know it'd be kind of pricey, but we we, we got plenty of money. It's up to you, honestly. I I haven't seen much of a point. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, I'm OCDs like that. I can't stand having all these broken things. Mm. I'm like, oh, that's stuff that needs to be done. But if it don't bother you, it won't bother me. Thing cannot take anything. Well, can't... Hmm. I think we're going to have to choose between ballistics or energy for this, because it cannot take... It has... <laughs> if I put the two AC2s in a small ballistics, that leaves it with four tons for armor. <laughs> it's not very okay. much. It has not much at all. It, it's some armor though. Eh. Oh, I also have to put armor in. Um, I mean ammo. Yeah, I put ammo. And it needs heat sinks, because, wow, that is not much heat sink. And that leaves it one ton of for armor. <laughs> Mm. Uh, is or one ton. AC twos are six tons. AC twos don't seem very good. I seem to recall that like, I think like AC fives are considered like or tens are like the sweet spot between damage and tonnage. And AC twos are like mm -hmm. bad <laughs> for damage uh. to tonnage. Cause yeah, these these do two damage for six tons, and the medium lasers do five damage for one ton. That's, yeah, yeah, lasers then. They do have a lot more range, but that's like the only thing they have over the lasers. This might be okay. It has a jump jet. Okay. Eh. I mean, it's not like <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I could repair this panther with the large laser. Just have a backup ready. Twin Huber breaks the arm. Well, he can't do that. He can't break anything right now. His own arms are broken. <laughs> he broke himself. Let's see here. Uh. Hmm. We cleared this place out. The black market up there. Raids. Ah, uh, another war zone, maybe. If you like another war zone? <laughs> okay. And these are some battle lines drawn here. <laughs> yeah, the um... It's like we're all intervening in a game of Stellaris. <laughs> kind of. The, the dotted lines connecting different uh, systems or industrial hubs. That's like, ah, your repairs take longer in war zones, but they take shorter and they're cheaper in hu industrial hubs. 
you know, makes yeah. sense. No recent headlines. Uh, the war zone is Karita, and they don't like me. <laughs> they don't like me at all. <laughs> Can't imagine why we've been blowing them up. A lot of early missions seem to be like against Karita, which makes sense because that's the power to the northeast that's directly above the place we're in, which is Davion. Um, right. So yeah. Hmm. Oh, I can get some salvage. Not much else. Oh, and there's transmissions in here. Ah, if we we can uh, choose uh, either Davian or Krita for um, this frontline support. Hmm. Mm. We have more salvage from Davion. Because they don't hate you as much. Yeah. Actually, no, they like you, don't they? They really, you're honored with yeah, them. Yeah, the, the Davian love me. Yeah. They're suspicious of me. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, okay, Davian is attacking Karita, and Karita is defending. Mm-hmm. Eh, Davian, I guess? Might as well stick with who likes us. <laughs> I guess. Unless, like, we really anger Karita and they start sending hit squads after us. I don't think that, that can happen. <laughs> It'd be <laughs> funny if it could, but... No. Okay, that made a raid and a demolition contract appear. Uh, further north. There's okay. a rare mech in, on the market over here. Mm, well... Oh, really now? Thought. Let's, go, let's go see what this okay. is. Oh, it's a Vulcan. Is that good or not? Eh, it's a light mech. It's, it's fine. Oh. Eh. Eh. This blackjack. Hmm. Or me lasers, two AC twos. Hmm. It's only two million. Fuck it. Now we have something else. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna tear off those AC twos. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Oh, he has Mark One lasers in it. So how does it look? That's. Yeah, got plenty of. Wow, I can just load this thing up with heat sinks. I didn't even need to take off those jump shots. Wow, a mech that actually has room for a lot of shit. <laughs> actually, probably didn't even need to take those ACs off. Mm. Mm, no, actually, I totally did, because those are way too heavy. Industrial hub. Oh, we should also take a look at the pilots here. Um, that should be looks okay. Born ballistic, six in energy, five missiles. Uh, I hope your takes know their stuff. I'll be watching. Let's see. Uh, I mean, she's, I hope she's better than. I've seen it all. Now I want to get paid for it. All right, that's enough screwing around. I thought it was very important stuff you were doing. Uh, 
just get all of this done with. And now, now we get back. Could have just traveled. That stuff would have happened while we were traveling. I don't know if it like modifies how much it costs and takes. How much? Time oh, it takes. I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah. All right. Or if it like sets it in when you're there. Yeah. Hmm. So what do you think of this blackjack? Uh, let me have a look at it. Blackjack BJ1. Under tonnage. I mean, it's, it's kind of neat, I guess. It's got some lasers. It's got room for ballistics. I could put two auto cannons on it. Or I could put some machine guns on it. Oh yeah, you could, you could put machine guns on it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> um... That's a thing you could do. Light rifle, seven damage, seven rounds a minute. But the uh, short range. You also need specific rifle AC animation. two does two damage, but sixty rounds a minute. It's a higher damage per second if I can keep landing it, but and it's a long, it's long ranged. Hmm. Ah. Uh, sounds pretty good. I mean, I guess I could put some auto cannons on it like that, and then it's got lasers. Nothing really long ranged, though. Other than the auto cannons, which I'd have to lead the shot. Yeah, it'd be if more a fire of a ball of mech. on it. So, are the flamers terrible as I think they are? Um, I think you need to like hit a critical mass of flamers in order to like. Uh, can do what they go need all to do. in on fire. Yeah, which is so I should overheat swap mechs. all the lasers out for flamethrowers. Uh, so there's a mod that lets like hard points equip uh, different size weapons than what the one they're stated for. So like small mounts could also, so like medium mounts could also have small weapons. And I don't think you can put a small weapon in a medium mount by default. I might be wrong about that. But that sounds right. Mm hmm. Well, let's see here. I guess I could try it. I'll put the. I'll just put two AC2s on there. Oh, it's over tonnage. Yep. Alright, well, let's Six see tons. here. Who needs uh, heat, heat sinks? Who needs those? Uh, well, I'm not going to take all the heat sinks off, obviously. <laughs> that'd be stupid. <laughs> the engine does have um, some default heat sink ability, but that varies by mech and engine. Let's use a lot. Okay, let's see. Take some of this unnecessary armor off. Everyone knows speed is armor. I don't need that. I, don't get shot. I mean, that depends on the mech you're talking about. <laughs> I have a good feeling about this.
Just nominal? No. All right, let's see here. How does how does this work? I forgot to equip ammo. All right, well, lasers it is. We don't. We're not going to be of a whole lot of help here. Well, it's all right. I've I've got nope, zappies. We're gonna, we're gonna load. Not that's unacceptable. <laughs> kind of I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> Oops. Mm hmm. Okay, so guns need ammo to shoot. Thought they tell me. Best you can do is go on my stream. Okay. All right, there. That should be better. It has bullets. Bullets. I hope. One can hope. When you're ready. Alright, once more. Hangar doors open. Stand clear. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems phenomenal. Into the thick of it, Commander. Help each other hold back the tide of the enemy advance there. as long as possible, and then get the hell out of there. We will be on standby, waiting for your extraction. Good hunting. Okay, what's the what, what's the speed of this thing? The velocity. Okay, that seems all right. Things don't really have tracers. Got the guy eyeball it. They don't even explode much either. Now nope, that's a mix job. <laughs> At least you get a little hit marker. That's good. Yeah. Oh, I've got all the mechs following me. <laughs> Every single one. They like you. Not mutual. Feeling is not mutual at all. Yeah, this is the tabletop AI acting. Yeah, you can see the I see. squad. Default AI. Yeah, that's cool. This. That's good. And this is good AI. Now it should be. They should not be stupid. Maybe on easy mode, but not not on normal or regular or whatever this is. I don't. Think All right. Well, that one just activated his jump jets and went straight up. So I don't know. Ah oh, damn! I blew it up. I I I killed a man. Damn it! I I won. Oh no! Another another kill well, for your account. Oops! Get out of the way! Sh what, what, who's that? Shape Shipley? Get out of the way, Shipley! Whoever's in the Centurion? Yeah, Shipley. Watch it.
No shit. You don't. You don't say. You don't say, Rihanna. Major engagement. Yep, that sounds about right. All right I, I what see those ones we just blew up? Don't count. What? No, those are just the initial. Get your feet. Uh, you didn't? Uh, um, I don't know, I'm in, I'm just back here, I don't see anything. Was it over, was it this? Oh, is it, it's in here, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Phoenix Hawk incoming. Brilliant. Oh boy. Who's that jumping? Who's that jumping? Oh, all the buddies <laughs> are over here having fun. We're on it, Commander. Target acquired. I've got a Vulcan over here. This guy, this Phoenix Hawk is having a very, very, very bad day. Mm hmm. Okay, it's over now. Seems like your mech getting knocked out is certainly survivable if the reactor doesn't just go kaplunk. Or you get headshot. Or you don't get shot through the, the head. Mm -hmm. You know? It does seem that way. Yeah. I think so. You can eject this the thing, I guess. Yeah. Ejection is pretty reliable. Because you're the, you're the head. You just go up. Yep. Not like Gundam where you're in the chest. You're in the chest, you're in a freaking giant armored coffin with a nuclear reactor literally a, a foot behind you. Yep. I mean, in this you have a fusion reactor uh, below you. Oh, yeah. And, <laughs> uh, you know, like, on the subject of, like, heat, most mech pirates have uh, a cooling vest on them when, they, when they're piloting. Oh. Because that's how bad it gets. It gets pretty hot, huh? Yeah. Um, no AC. That's like one of the things like I... <laughs> Star League era mechs were good at, like managing that heat. But uh, Great House mechs, mm, not so much. In my job, the only AC you get are the auto cannons. <laughs> it's fine. No, it's not. It's their glowing reactor. It is. It's fine. See, completely fine. Maybe they should have done that from the start. Well, they're double escalating. They're, they're, they're escalatoring. Send an atlas after us. Come on, bring it. <laughs> We're not gonna see an assault mech <laughs> right now. You crazy? Probably not. That would, that would fuck our shit up. I tried, like, an ass assassin mission the other day, mm -hmm. and that was just heavy mech. I think it was a hunchback, and uh, I had to okay. restart the mission a couple of times, because <laughs> it's like two or three shot me. Were you in the Centurion, or the the, the thing you're in now? Um, I think I did the Centurion first, and then this thing. And this is the thing I wanted. Oh, I see. In. <laughs> On there, spotted. Look at him just zipping through the air like that, like he owns the skies. Just oh, shoot no, him. Dead. Shoot him out of the air. Extraction point when you're ready. 
easy pay. Oh, I say as I scrape my mech against the wall. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, yep, leaving. Nope, don't care. <laughs> uh, we've met our quota, not our problem anymore. We did what they paid us to do. If they want... <laughs> if they want that mech dead, they can do it themselves. Huh. Hmm. I could get a commando. Oh yeah, so the, these there are like superchargers, which like make you go faster, but if you activate it too long, it hurts. Okay. I never use them. <laughs> so I guess I'll take one. <laughs> this <laughs> one that was offered. Doesn't look like I uh, I didn't kill anything, but I hit stuff. I did hit stuff. If you did damage, you helped. Yeah, I did a lot of damage. Well, that was just with the auto cannons. Damage is very low in this game, I've noticed. Yeah, um, because it's like uh, armor is in the double digits. Yes, and I believe like one point of damage is one point of armor. I think. And you didn't take you didn't take any damage either. No, they didn't come after me at all. I just stayed back and sniped. Yep, and that's a valid role in Battletech. <laughs> yeah. You got your snipers and your bowlers. <laughs> uh, no prizes of guessing what really... I like to do. <laughs> uh, it's, my thing's not really outfitted for brawling. Mm. The blackjack. I don't guess. I don't know. Now we killed a bunch of Panther mechs. So there's also this, this is what the Cantina missions do, it's this upgrade system that you can put into your mechs. I see. Um, yeah, I, I see that. So I, I'm looking at I it right now. Go to you, I can like, for this aerodynamic hull. For so at least all things we have, does this take yes. time? Yeah, it does. It's a work order. Now, None of these really work for this thing, slowed out. Yeah, I, I, it like I said, I just got it. Oh yeah, so I have jump jets. I don't. We don't have a ton of options. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. I guess we can do like maybe one or two more to close it out. Sounds good. I guess we can, we can clear out these two contracts and that'll be it, I guess. Yeah, that's that sounds right. But I do want to do more of this. Yeah, this is pretty uh, This has turned out to be pretty fun, yeah. With an actual person. <laughs> to be honest, this is... Yeah, it felt, it felt like a bit of a slog from single player. Not gonna lie. But the uh, two player this is pretty good. Yeah, the, the AI mod does seem to be helping a little, I've noticed. Like, they're not... not Brain dead, but they're okay, still not like near human. Mm -hmm. and that was one of but, the huge, the, the major complaints I've seen in the negative reviews is the AI being stupid. Yeah, but I, I will admit seeing that whole Lance run around was cool. Yeah. Uh, there's a wall as good as ours. Unless that's like, there's like a way under it. Might be a canyon. Once you've found the targeted oh. asset, move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. <laughs> the turret mm -hmm. is just sitting there looking at me. Another one. Oh, no. Scopes that can be identified as our targets. 
We'll have to move on to the next nav point. Well, what is it? What is it over there? It's it's a sheer cliff. Oh, we don't all have jump jets. I have jump. We have you and I have them, but I know the Centurion doesn't. I don't know if Huber has them. Yeah, Firestarter. I, Firestarter has a couple, I believe. Gonna make Shipley walk all the way around. <laughs> Can't believe you. You'll be fine, and I just stepped on that mech. Death from above. You know about death from above? <laughs> I'm detecting unidentified mechs <laughs> on my head. <laughs> so, do you can you Goomba stomp mechs because the pilot is in the head? So there is a move in tabletop and hairbrain uh, Battletech called death from above (DFA). It is where you oh. alpha strike all your weapons as you jump on top of someone. <laughs> it tends to be extremely oh. bad idea because that deals damage to you too because you're landing on a mech. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. But the you're, you're stomping the cool. fusion reactor. <laughs> <laughs> you are stomping on a fusion reactor. Yes, correct. But. Yeah, you know, it's it's cool and it might have a use in some situations. Yeah. Yeah. That kill was mine. Sure. Hey, he was mine! Find your own kill, Fox. Go find your own target, Fox! What's the big idea, That's Fox? What you can't say, uh, that's what Peppy sounds like. Okay. I don't know. Hey, he was mad. <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's slippy. I know. If that's that's a PPC Panther and a Phoenix Hawk. Phoenix Hawk is the target. And trying to duck and weave a little. Step on the occasional tank. Oh! I was shooting that! <laughs> <laughs> You've got an enemy on your tail! Use the brakes! Actually, no, don't break no. this. That's a bad idea. <laughs> Oh yeah, I see. I saw him eject. Okay, so that does. You yeah, can't see that. Yeah, that's the blue flash usually. Oh boy. Well, someone's getting surrounded. Huber again. He's he's kind of surrounded. Hey, look at me. Why are you surrounded? Get get away from them. Stop being surrounded. I'm not gonna look at me. I'm gonna shoot you back. Shooting you back. That's the rim carrier. Like, what is that? Oh! <laughs> That's bad, is what that is. <laughs> also, they did manage to shear all the armor off my left leg. That's fine. Mm hmm. These locusts are called lawnmowers? Yeah, because they're so small and fast. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And they explode like you would expect a lawnmower of being thrown to one of these <laughs> would be. <laughs> oh, yeah, a lawnmower in a destruction derby. Yep. Um, 
Well, we take that Venus Hawk. You've assassinated a valuable mech warrior mercenary. We will not forget this. We will have vengeance. Okay. Uh, yep, Hubert kind of wants to. We will engage you in 31st century combat. Hey, you right, know, anyway. the other thing about the clans, they are mm. being, you know, being ex military over the generations, they are big on duels. Honorable one. Oh, ones. really? No. Yep, that was a thing. The inner sphere kind of like, wait, what the fuck are you you doing? You're they they deploy like entire lances against them, and then fans like, ah, one v one me. You you one v one me, noob. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which, in some cases, is actually a good tactic because, you know. They wouldn't care who did it, so you like the most experienced pilot, best mech on the inner sphere side would like, well, all right, I'll I'll take I'll take you all on, and I'll I'll take your your best guy on, and like, if I win, you gotta leave, cause you know, I'll see the best of you can't touch me. Uh -huh. the would, like you know, they would actually like go through with that. I guess that would that does spare quite a lot of destruction in sea bills. Yeah, there. settle it in a one v one. Should probably take a look at this uh, fire sword to make sure you didn't blow anything up. Oh yeah, he blew up his. Yeah, that blew up. That blew up. That blew up. What's in these crates, anyways? Uh, honestly, probably spare armor plates. Oh. Because it's actually uh, in tabletop. It's actually completely feasible for like an experienced mech repair team to strip all the damaged armor off a mech and replace it in like a couple of hours. Uh huh. Yeah, and, and like at least in Mech Warrior Four, and I believe like the first mission in this, you go into a repair bay, and yeah, it's totally possible than just like tear off armor Sorry and put new ones on that matter. fast. You know that hasn't come up again yet either. either. It won't. It won't. Nope. What? Why did they introduce those two mechanics and then not do anything? Uh, I thought that was going to be a recurring thing. I was looking out for him, like, the missions after. Nope. So, um, there is a mission pack that I was looking at that did have those, but the biggest mission types they oh, had... Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, alright, well, here's a new mechanic. That, another new mechanic for them to drop. Uh-huh. Yep. Um... It did have those repair bays, but the biggest mission type, were, which involved like two enemy bases and a friendly base, you would attack and defend. Uh, yeah, I lagged on that, on like <laughs> recommended settings. And the second time I tested it, oh. uh, it froze. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so that's unfortunate because it was really wow, cool oh, seeing like a huge like push and pull thing because. And me and friendly reinforcements would drop in, and they'd all do their own attacks. But can't have poop nice things. Ah, oh, okay. All right. This is this is actually kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. I like this. I like this. It's great. Um, there is something called long huh? bombs. Oh. oh, oh. That was close. <laughs> there is something called long <laughs> toms you can put on your mechs, which is, uh, I believe, oh, nuclear tactical nukes. <laughs> I was going to say, that sounds familiar. 
Was that in four at all? Yes. Uh, yes. I imagine it's a battle text table. Yeah, it, it's also in the tabletop. And that brings me to another point. Uh, a mod that so much the developer decided to not update for this called Reloaded. It had a bunch of tweaks, made it more like the previous Battletech games. And uh -huh. a bunch of weapons and made it so there were no weapon hard points. You just, you know, if you could fit it, you could mount it. So, like, your heat and your tanks nice. were your limits. And oh, okay. You didn't update it. So, I um, about that. that's a shame. Ow! Ah, uh, there's some artillery. I'm gonna blow it up. No, don't stand there. The implant. Lance attack confirmed. It's confirmed. Because it's got the mark on it. Some reason you had to kill this tank. Yeah, I had an SRM carrier marked like that. Okay, now I had to capture this. We have capture to point. Whoa! We still haven't cleared out all the artillery. That's annoying. Big VTOL. Yep, that's that. What's it called? A Hugo? Uh, Igor. It's pronounced Igor. Pronounced dead. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Oh. <laughs> I destroyed your satellite dish. No Wi Fi for you. Whoa, they didn't like that. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Okay, no, it's fine. Whew. It's Is still in artillery somewhere. Yeah, I think it's like, yeah, it's in front of me. I think it's that missile icon. Unless that's ours? Because it's yellow. I don't think so, oh. no. Oh, we have friendly icons. Incoming. Right in front of me. It's <laughs> fine. 
Oh, I see. Saw you. Can't hide. Up. Alright, I think that's actually all the artillery. There's still some enemies somewhere, according to the objectives. Two out of four. Oh, there we go. Or do we? Uh. Oh, they're in the basic catch. Or no? They just got a just small carrier here. here. <laughs> Out come out wherever you are. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do! Sorry, next time I'll spring for the airstrike. Airstrike support is not available. <laughs> she sounds annoyed. Airstrike support will be unavailable for this mission, I'm afraid. Mm. I don't know, I'm not seeing anything up here. Everyone's clustering down there. That last lousy enemy. Oh, I see some. Oh, target acquired. Target destroyed. Nothing down there? Okay, there's treasure somewhere, apparently. Oh, there it is! There he is, there's the enemy. But it didn't count. Must be more than just that guy around there. Got a turret. Aha! Okay, mortar. Great. Oh, look. Salvage. <laughs> yep.
Yep. <laughs> that last lousy enemy. Got a turret. Blow it up. It's where it's like one of the beetles clipping into the scenery. Oh no, I hope not. Because the way they're all like clustered around here makes you think like something fell through the ground. That's probably what happened. Well, this isn't quite the ending I had in mind, but I think it's the one we're gonna get. Do you think they just? It just got stuck under the under the geometry or something. Yeah, probably. Well, that sucks. Well, uh, hope Damn. you enjoyed this session. <laughs> well, it was fine up until this. I don't, I don't know what happened here. Yep. Well, is there really? Oh. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing we yeah. can do. Uh, I guess next time, either we'll, I'll do this off camera or we'll pick up from here.